continuing from my last video, <clears throat> we decided the vertical asymptote was x is equal to 0. Okay, so or the y axis is the vertical asymptote. Now, when I was explaining this <coughs> about the horizontal asymptote, I in fact uh, want to explain that slightly in a better way. What I was trying to tell you is when you look at this branch of the hyperbola, you can see the the value of y for any value of x. I will show this in detail later on. Whichever value of x you take, or however big value of x you take, your x, sorry, your y value would be about two. Okay. So here you can say y's y would be two plus something. Whereas here, when x is approaching infinity uh, or negative infinity, that means it becomes smaller and smaller and smaller, this would be slight, slightly less than 2. So in other words, this this would be 1.9999999. It is it is never going to get to 2. And this would be 2.000001. Okay. So that's what I mean. This is, you can say this is approaching 2 from above. And this is approaching two from below. So that's what we're going to look at the horizontal asymptote now. Okay, so that's the vertical asymptote decided. Now let us look at the horizontal asymptote. Now see, why I'm trying to explain this, you can remember some formulas and get the answer. But until and unless you understand the intuition behind each of this, you're never going to enjoy or appreciate uh, graphs or maths uh, generally. So as I told you, to decide the horizontal asymptote, you're thinking what would happen when x is approaching positive infinity or negative infinity. So so let me write the equation again. You, we know that y is equal to 1.5 divided by x. So now tell me what happens when x is approaching positive infinity okay that means x is becoming greater and greater than zero so let me i'll show this on calculator uh say menu run so i'm going to do 1.5 divided by 100 that is 0 0.05 0 0.015 what happens if it is point divided by thousand this is 1.5 times 10 to the power negative 3. That is 0 0.015. Okay. Uh, and so on. So if suppose you make it smaller, you, uh, suppose if you make the x bigger, you put a 0 there. So let me say <coughs> a huge number. Okay. So what will happen? This is almost 0, isn't it? This is one point. Uh, 5 times 10 to the power negative 9. Okay, so that is almost 0. So we can say when x is approaching positive infinity, y is approaching 0. That means it will be 0 from above. Okay, be slightly more than 0. What happens if suppose x approaches infinity from, sorry, x approaching negative infinity. So divide by say negative 100 or suppose let me start with a big number this is approaching zero from below okay this is a small number this is slightly less than zero it's not zero it's approaching zero from below okay so i hope you understand so what does that mean so when x is approaching so we can say when x approaches infinity okay positive or negative infinity y is approaching zero y is approaching zero means that your graph your y would never become zero when it is a huge positive number it will be zero plus something and here when it's negative infinity zero minus something so in other words, this implies 
uh, your x axis, your x is equal to zero, is the horizontal asymptote. X is equal to zero is your horizontal asymptote. Now you should be knowing level two students or year twelve students should know x is equal to zero when uh, sorry, what did I say? Uh, your horizontal asymptote is x is equal to zero. Okay, so here yeah, your this uh, oh sorry y y okay let me go up. So what did we say? I think I'm getting confused. So x is equal to zero. Oh, sorry, this is where I went wrong. It should be. This implies y is equal to zero is your, sorry, y is equal to zero is your horizontal asymptote. And y is equal to zero is nothing but, this implies x axis is your horizontal asymptote. So if you look at uh, your x axis, each point, suppose just for uh, clarification, this point 7 is can be written as 7 comma 0. Or any point on the x-axis, your y value has to be 0. Okay, so your, that's what you draw. Your vertical, sorry, your horizontal asymptote is your x-axis. So let me highlight and drag it up slightly if I can yeah so this is your horizontal asymptote okay so this so let me write this line x your x axis can also be written as y is equal to zero so this is your vertical asymptote and this is your horizontal asymptote now we need to find some points okay so <clears throat> let us find some need points so yeah so let me make a table x and y and y is equal to 1.5 divided by x that's what we know so when x is 1 1.5 divided by 1 is 1.5 when x is 1.5 y would be 1 see here there's also one very good way of understanding getting the points y is equal to 1.5 over x means, if you multiply this, this means x, y should be 1.5. Okay, so if you look at the point, if you multiply this, so you get 1.5. So if you take, say, 3, 1.5 divided by 3, okay, 1.5 divided by 3 is 15 divided by 30, which is 0 0.5. You can check that on a calculator, okay. And when x is 4.5, you can see the pattern what, where the graph is going. This is 1.5 divided by 4.5, which is 15 divided by 45, which is one third, which is 0 0.333. Okay, recurring. Okay, so what's happening? When x is approaching, becoming bigger and bigger, you can see y is approaching 0. So let me plot some. When x is, z, x is 1, y is 1.5 so that's this point when x is what's the next point when x is 1.5 when x is 1.5 y is equal to 1 so that's this point okay when x is 3 y is 0 0.5 i think these points are enough now the graph would look like i'll draw it slightly thicker so it is it's approaching infinity and these are the points you and as okay this part also I'll explain so this is uh, this is this part okay I'll explain this part this is one part so as X, X is approaching infinity Y is approaching zero now when X is approaching zero Y would approach infinity Okay, so what does that mean? So let me write that. So when x is approaching, so, 
So this is also important. When x is approaching, what happens? When x is approaching 0. When x is approaching 0, y would approach infinity. I'll show you, uh, show this on a calculator, positive infinity. Okay. So this is uh, approaching 0 from, this plus means this is uh, becoming, you're approaching 0 from the right. Okay. I'll continue in the next video. My baby is crying.